In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a tree diagram with seven circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. Let me just show you how it works. When I click from the board ends, you can see here a tree trunk comes uh, with some uh, dark color at the bottom and then some shadow effect. When I click the first, you can see here the branch comes, then you can add the option number title and some icons here with the shadow effect and on my next click it comes the option two you can see here three four five six and seven or if you want you can just make it zigzag also so i have made two slides one with animation another is without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide you want and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. You can join my WhatsApp group. The link is provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it uh, through PayPal or Patreon. The link is also provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the block arrows. I'm going to select the arrow, which is the bent arrow. You can see here, just draw an arrow. Maybe the size could, we need a bigger one. Then you have to make the width should be very smaller, maybe something like this. And you can see here the arrowhead, I'm going to remove it, something like this. And if it is not, uh, the line is not going, that means we need to go and make the shape outline, no outline. And then how much bend arrow you need, you can just adjust this also. You can see here, let me just make it somewhat so I can reduce it like this. Then go to rotate. You can see here, I can just say flip horizontal. All right. And then I'm just moving this one here now this one should go up again what i'm going to do is you can see here i'm just going to say flip vertical and then i'm going to increase the size you can see here and this one should be a little bit reduced bring it down and increase the size further how much size we need you can see here as again depending on the requirement you can reduce the size and shape outline not outline shape fill go to more fill colors standard i'm going to give this dark color you can see here then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate it you can say flip horizontal and then exactly put it here something like this and again you can increase the size you can see here this also i'm going to select and i'm going to increase the size something like this then select both this one and somewhat bring it down and again if you want to as uh, reduce the you can see here the curve again you can do that one something like this all right so now i'm going to fill this area with the help of the freeform shape so go to insert shapes select the freeform shape and then from here i'm going to start you can see here just click here again on the lines only the borders only you, you need to click it don't make, make sure that it should not go outside and then again i'm going to click here then at the bottom this one and then you can see a blue color just click it shape outline make it no outline shape fill go to more fill colors standard i'm going to select this one and just send this to back so you end up getting a shape something like this or if you want some different colors also you can go to more fill colors maybe you can select this color also so depending on your requirement you can change the colors now it's time to add the branches so let me just remove the guides uh, then go to insert shapes select the line you can see here just uh, maybe from here to here i'm going to make one and shape outline make the same uh, this one brown color and you can increase the weight something like this you can see here press ctrl d i'm going to add one more here something like this so whichever how many uh, branches you need depending on your requirement you can create it again then press ctrl d i'm going to add the other side 
something like this again control D you can see here and again the last I'm just doing something like this so these are the branches now it's time to add some circles go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape at the top depending on your requirement you can see here you can make it something like this or if you want you can make it further make sure to hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill any nice color you can choose then i'm going to just duplicate this again maybe this size i'm going to increase it doesn't matter if it is overlapping also again maybe i'm going to give this color press ctrl d i'm going to give some bigger here or less than that you can see here then again ctrl d i'm going to reduce the size a little bit you can see here and this color maybe i'm going to give a kind of a purple and depending on this one also you can change the uh, this one the branch also the placement so if you want you can make it more down and then give some different color then again i'm going to select this you can see here maybe i'm going to give a color this one Control d reduce the size and then i'm going to give a, maybe a kind of this color so depending on your requirement you can give any color of your choice and the most important thing here is we need to add some shadow effect for that i can just select any circle press Control d to duplicate go to format shape fill make it black then right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency and then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here and let me just increase the transparency more and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size i'm going to add one here you can see here then send this to back Control d if you feel it is very lighter then you can increase the transparency something like this you can see here and then send this to back again Control d i'm adding one here for this send back or you can do one by one add it and then you can just send this to back and this one again i'm just going to send this to back this one i'm adding it here if you want you can reduce the size you can see here Control d i'm adding it here again control D though I'm going to select all these three and then send this to back so it looks something like this and you can add one more for this uh, main uh, trunk so I'm just going to select this one edit shape change shape to uh, rectangle increase the size reduce the width and then you can just add something like this and then this also you can send it to back so like this you have uh, we have added the shadow effects here now once we have added all those things it's time to add the options and the icons or the text so go to insert icons so these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so i'm randomly i'm just selecting five or six icons and click insert and then move this here somewhat and make the height and width as 0.5 or 0.4 make it smaller then you can give some different color combination later on i'm going to change the color to white so i'm just going to put one by one on each circle you can see here something like this actually there are seven so i need to add one more again go to insert icons and i'm going to select this this also i'm going to make it as 0.4 and bring it here then i'm going to select by holding the shift key all one by one you can see here and change the color to white now once this is done you can go text box and add your detailed text so center align white font reduce the size 
something like this again if you want you can add the title also so it's up to your requirement what you want to do so i'm just going to add the text only again control d this side and this one so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to add some small basic animations like wipe uh, or stretch animation you can add that one or you can add fly in animation as well for this